Hiya, Amy here with Amy's Wears, and I have some pop art goodness to share with you using a stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. Now this is called Pop Art Girl, and I'm also going to use this gorgeous dye from Crafty Meraki. I have my blending brushes from Alta New, and here's a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. So basically I'm going to start using this smattering of gorgeous bright colors from Catherine Pooler. I have Flirty Fuchsia, Lime Ricky, Something Borrowed, and... I'm not sure on the top one. I'll let you know if I can see it in a moment here. But basically, I'm going to do some ink blending directly on a card base. This is US A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm initially holding it down with my magnets, but I do also decide to um, mask off every line with my two inch post it tape. So this is a really fun option. Um, if you have a stencil that's very kind of striped like this, you can really just kind of go through and do each line a different color. I think Tiara is the yellow one. I apologize for that. So basically I have my mini uh, little blending brushes from Alta New that I got recently um, and I'm just doing kind of heavier handed in spots, lighter handed in others, and then just working through these different uh, layers. So when I go heavier handed it kind of makes it almost more like an orange whereas when I'm lighter handed it's more of a yellow. So it's just a nice way to kind of give it some interest um, and dimension with just using that one color. So now I'm going to come in with Lime Ricky, and I have blending brushes for basically the different families. I did end up buying extra just because some of the color families maybe have like a really light or a really dark or maybe a purple that's more blue versus more pink, things like that. So I did buy extra of these mini ones than I use in my regular um, blending brushes, which I still love and I use those all the time too, the ones from um, the Rabbit Hole Designs. So now I'm basically just flipping the... Um, edges around so that I don't get, you know, green ink, for example, where I don't want it um, on the next layer. So this is a way to just kind of keep reusing the post-it tape just by flipping it over and using the clean edge. So now I'm on something borrowed and then that final layer will be Flirty Fuchsia, which is my favorite color. I absolutely love that ink pad. It is gorgeous. So I love to incorporate that color when I can. So now I have one more final row to mask off. I'm just going to use blue because blue gets along better with purple than green. And just, case, just in case it does kind of overlap, it's not going to be a huge deal. So I'm going to come in with that flirty fuchsia, and then that's going to finish the ink blending portion. So A Colorful Life Designs, if you aren't familiar, <clears throat> is a small woman-owned business in Texas. Um, I lead her design team, and I do have a coupon, Amy Fan 10. So if you want to check out any stencils, she has some of the most unique, amazing stencils, and you can get 10% off your complete order if you shop. Just use my coupon at checkout. So to feature another small woman-owned business, Crafty Meraki is another one in the States. Um, she has really cool products, some really unique stuff, and I caught a really good deal. Um, she had some sales around the holidays and I've been wanting this for a while. So not only do you get this really cool um, long tag option, but you get these kind of sub sentiment letters. And then what I really wanted was that big blocky celebrate die. Um, even though it's kind of intended maybe for more of a slim line or a mini slim line sort of card, it does also fit on a US A2 size, which is more the size that I tend to use. Now here I'm just using my little my heavy duty magnets from my glass mat just to kind of hold these little these little metal bits that I'm cutting off so I don't end up you know sticking it in my hand or in my foot if it gets on the floor so I'm just kind of being mindful of where these little metal bits are going and then I can just swoop it all up with my magnet and um, just kind of wipe it off into the trash so another fun way to use those heavy duty magnets if you have some <laughs> some little dye bits around that you want to throw away so I'm just going to basically use some of this low-tack tape. I'm just going to cut a smaller piece out because if your cutting plates are like mine, I don't want to mar up the rest of that cardstock. I'm just going to cut a much smaller piece, use some of this mint tape just to kind of hold it in place, and run this through off-screen through my die-cutting machine. Now I have this gorgeous holographic Celebrate, but I decided to take it a step further and go up the drama, so to speak. So I'm actually going to run this through... Um, through a 3D embossing folder. I have this one from Altenew here. I think it's called Diamond Squares. I'm not sure. I'll link it below with the other um, items that I use. But it did kind of mar it up a little bit. Not mar it up, rather. It just kind of 
weakened it a little bit. So I wanted it also to be a little bit more evident off the background because it got a little bit hard to read. So I decided to just take some black scrap cardstock and run one of the little sub sentiment letter words as well as the celebrate again, just to kind of give it a base shadow layer so it could be more readable and evident and secure um, on the front of the card base. So I'm just gonna use some liquid glue and attach this down onto the black cardstock just to give it that little drop shadow. And you can see it kind of split the die cut. That was just because the 3D embossing was so dramatic it kind of tore into the paper a little bit. But you can't see any of that once I attach it down um, to this little black layer. You can see it's really, it got a little bit, it got a little weakened, I'm not gonna lie. But it ended up fine. Um, I just kind of kicked it off to the side and then I'll use a big block there, um, acrylic block to just kind of hold it in place because was being a little fussy so I could have used probably another hand here but I was able to make it work. Now I initially cut out let's so it would be let's celebrate but then I decided to cut out the U and I ended up using the celebrate U instead. So once this is dry or somewhat dry I'm just going to kind of pop it out and get the extra little bits off um, just kind of working around the liquid glue and you can see it has that nice uh, more stable backing and a little bit of a black drop shadow. So I'm just poking out little bits that aren't supposed to be there with my little pokey tool and that's going to finish that portion of it. So it's a little bit fiddly. Um, some of the inner ones of like the B's and the A and stuff like that, they're kind of covered anyway just because it's offset by the holographic layer so I didn't really have to poke those out. So now I'm just going to attach the Celebrate and the U to the front of the card. Just using some liquid glue. You're probably wondering why I'm using liquid glue because you know I hate it. Uh, but it wasn't too bad because it's kind of a big fat die cut. So it wasn't it wasn't too horrible and it didn't have, didn't have oozage. So it's okay. Now I'm going to kick it off to the left of the card. And you can still see all four colors clearly um, even though some of it's covered using liquid glue here. Again, daring, definitely oozage. I'm going to tap it off and then put that down in the lower right portion. So I've got the Celebrate You. I have this really funky, cool um, stenciling here. And then on the inside of the card, I just want to use one of these sub-sentiments. So I have this really perfect colored green cardstock that I had in there. It's this happy birthday hot stuff. I feel like it kind of goes with the, the sassy theme of the front of the card. And I'm just going to liquid glue that, put it on the inside of the card, and that's going to finish the design. So be sure to check out these small oh, tailored expressions. Yet another woman no business. So I'm all about it, right? All about supporting the women owned business. So I'll link everything that I used in the video description box below. If you expand and scroll down, you'll find those details. If you do follow my affiliate links, it's no additional cost to you, so I really appreciate your support. Apologize for my alarm going off, reminding me to go pick up my kids. So thank you so much for spending time with me, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.